So DoorDash, like many of you might have heard, had a glitch a couple weeks ago. Let's talk about why that happened, how people took advantage, and the aftermath of that. My name is Pedro DoorDash Santiago, back at you with the Rideshare Guy. Now, many of you guys probably heard about this. It was a hot top, like, big news. This was actually last, so it's been about 10 days. And last weekend, all people were talking about it on all social media platforms. Now, there was a glitch that allowed consumers to order on the DoorDash platform and not be charged immediately. Like the subtotal go to zero, no information, money wasn't taken from your account. And people went ballistic. I'm gonna put a screenshot of some things people were ordering, $6,000 of tequila and Plan B contraceptives and crab legs and I mean, just ridiculous things. People got on Twitter, people got on Facebook, people got on social media, YouTube and said, go get your DoorDash, it's free right now, go get it, go get it, and they took advantage of the situation. I'm gonna read you guys an article that came out on uh, USA Today talking about it, and then tell you what DoorDash said. But before you do that, if you heard about this, comment down below, did you take part in it? What do you think about it? Do you think that the customer should have to repay for that? Some people have. Some maybe they haven't caught up with yet. Let's talk about what USA Today and what DoorDash said. So DoorDash Glitch sends users into a free food frenzy. Everybody loves free food, right? But when you order in some of these ridiculous amounts, like $6,000 worth of booze, like you're taking advantage of the situation, right? This isn't like a, I order McDonald's, it was 20 bucks and it just happened to be free and I didn't know about it. People went out of their way to be scammy in my opinion. So let's see what this news article had to say a little bit. Malfunctioning technology may have worked in rare favor for the consumers of one popular food service. On Thursday, July 7th, consumers of food delivery app DoorDash reported that a brief glitch in the system caused users' accounts to be to not be charged, no matter what they ordered on the app. DoorDash, listen, get your technology together. This app, this glitch was several hours. Somebody should have caught this. Like, And also, when you see orders that are going $6,000 and you see that that account's never ordered something like that, some kind of alert should pop up, right? And I'm sure they're going to put some 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 safety measures in place, right? But look at this one here. Y'all know y'all going to jail. DoorDash not having this. So this is the order. $6,000. $6,000 worth of tequila. I used to pray for times like this to rhyme like this. To rhyme like this. Posted on one Facebook user with a screenshot of a $20,000 seafood order. Ain't a crab left in that effing ocean, you hear me? This is, this, look at this. Now, I think some people went on there and just got placed orders and maybe didn't even place them all the way through just to be, to get a little clout on social media. Because if I'm a restaurant and I see 306 lobster, shrimp, corn, and baked potato broils and 131 lobster and crab legs, like, I'm a restaurant, I'm not filling that order until I contact the customer, right? So a little of this is clout, a little bit is just showing off on social media and you know, a lot of attention was paid to these people. But some people did actually place these orders. So this is DoorDash's response. On the evening on July 7th, DoorDash experienced a payout, a payment processing issue. As a result, some users were able to check out without, a, without an authorized form of payment for a short period of time. We were subsequently notified that some users were placing fraudulent orders. That's what they're saying and we immediately corrected the issue. We're actively canceling fraudulent orders and are in touch with merchants impacted to ensure they are compensated for any unauthorized orders they may have received. So DoorDash is trying to work with those merchants as well. If they were, you know, took a loss, maybe they cooked all that food thinking it was an order and it never went out, you know. So DoorDash is trying to do the part with them. Um, we work to ensure that we are always offering the highest quality of service to communities we serve and we sincerely apologize for any inconvenience caused by this. Now, DoorDash, what you also have to remember is when you sign up to order on these apps, you're actually, you're, you're saying that you're gonna pay for these items. The, a lot of these people don't read the right, fine print. So many people afterwards have actually seen their accounts go into the negative. Karma will always come around, okay? Nothing is free in this world. Everybody likes free food, but at the end of the day, the people that took advantage of this are gonna be, they're gonna be feeling it, whether it's through their bank account or maybe some even legal action. What do you guys think about this in the comments below? I'll be keeping a pulse on this to see if 
DoorDash updates their ordering process, their payment process. I'm sure they will. Because at the end of the day, they lost a lot of money, got a lot of bad PR, and now all the scammy people, because I'm going to say this right now, not everybody will agree. If you went out of your way to place these large, crazy orders, $6,000, $20,000, people ordering TVs, people ordering all kinds of crazy things, you deserve what you got coming to you. Karma will come back around to you. But DoorDash also needs to fix the issue. These kind of things with a billion dollar company should not happen. The DoorDash app is very glitchy. It's been very, very bad the last couple of months, even more so than other months prior. And they got to get behind this, right? What do you guys think about this? Would you have taken advantage of it? Hope not. Did you take advantage of it? Let us know in the comments and be honest. And if this happens again, how do you think DoorDash should react? And how do you think consumers will react when they see on social media you can get free food from DoorDash? See you on the next video.